Hi Taurus, what is going on with you guys? I hope everybody is doing well. Merry Christmas guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas day, your Christmas Eve. Okay, I just wanted to get that out of the way just in case I don't talk to you guys on Christmas. Even though I probably will, but I don't know yet. But, <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well. So let's see what's going on with you Taurus, okay? I'm gonna be pulling from the What's the Tea deck. So let's get some tea on y'all. Let's see what kind of shit is going on in y'all's life, which I need to hear. Okay, the spirit wants me to relate to you guys. BS by Jean Aiko and her is on. So let's see if that has anything to do with this reading. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit. Okay, it's not going to be everybody's story or situation. Okay. And also remember that I could be talking about someone that is in your energy field. Okay. So please remember to flip and switch the roles. All right. So let's see what's going on with Taurus spirit. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors for Taurus. Please give me clear, honest, and accurate messages for Taurus. What is going on with my Taurus? Messages for Taurus spirit. Messages for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Nude. Bottom of the deck, we have giving money. Okay, so it's either you're being very generous to someone or um, someone is being generous to you. Maybe somebody's giving you, I'm hearing gift. So maybe somebody could be giving you a gift or somebody owes you money. They're paying you back here. Okay. Huh. Or somebody wants you to give them some money. Maybe somebody needs some help. <laughs> so let's put that here. I'm going to put that to the side because it might have something to do with this reading. So let's see. The Taurus spirit. Messages for Taurus. So we have stalker. Stalking, watching, obsessed. Okay, somebody's stalking you. We're going to see if that's a bad stalker or a good one. <laughs> Inside scoop. A closer look. Nosy up in your business. Okay. Somebody is... What, what, what else for Taurus? What else for Taurus spirit? Careless. No car repo. Car issues. Oh, it says carless. <laughs> okay, what else for Taurus? and move in, moves in silence okay bottom of the deck we have unbothered dodging bullets blocking negativity escaping crazy people protected by haters head in the clouds bankrupt okay somebody's having money issues here maybe some of you guys are having to dish out a lot of money for your car maybe somebody did something to your car which is why you're having to move in silence here because somebody likes to fuck around with your shit I feel like somebody's trying to get in your business here, Taurus, because you're moving in silence, okay? But you might be having some car issues, or maybe somebody needs help with their car. Maybe they're going to come ask you for help. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what this is what's going on with this story. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Huh. It says, you know, I'm back on my bullshit. I'm back up on the scene done dealing with you so i'm back okay that's the end of this song so huh maybe you're done dealing with someone taurus maybe somebody that you were helping out okay and now they're stalking you they're watching you here hmm. okay spirit for taurus okay spirit so why is stalker here for taurus what is this stalker energy about please Tell me what this stalker energy is about. Why is somebody stalking Taurus? Okay. Bottom of the deck, the moon. <laughs> it could be a cancer stalking you, Taurus. Um, yeah, somebody is stalking you in secret here. Um, somebody could be trying to use their intuition to come towards you, but they're having car problems right now or car troubles here. So it's like they can't really make a move, but they are definitely watching you. They're obsessed. Okay, they really want to come maybe give you something, I feel, or maybe they need help. 
and they don't know how to tell you or ask you about it. Yeah, because behind that we have the Knight of Pentacles. The moon also talks about fears, illusions. So they could be scared to come towards you here. Huh, but they are definitely doing this in silent though. In silence, you don't know that they're doing this. So let's see, why is Stalker here, Spirit for Taurus? Stalker for Taurus. Okay, yeah, death in reverse in the Seven of Cups. I feel like something here is not finished with you and someone. This could also be someone that is, um, it could be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be your, your sister sign, but this could be someone that is, um, doesn't want something to end with you or knows that something isn't over. Okay. Um, maybe this is somebody that hasn't changed much either. Maybe they haven't changed or they're not done going through some type of transformation themselves. They're confused about, or somebody is confused about something here. I feel like this is another energy. <laughs> I don't even feel like this is you. This could be you though. You're trying to figure out like, okay, you feel like there's some unfinished business with someone and um, you're confused. This person could be fantasizing about you too. They could definitely be dreaming about you. Um, <laughs> yeah, somebody's definitely fantasizing. We're gonna clarify these. Hmm. Yeah, it's something stopping this person from moving forward. I feel like it's these car issues. Maybe they're dependent on something too, or they're fearing this new, be new beginning with you. So all they're doing is sitting back and watching you. What else for stalker? The seven of wands. Somebody's being blocked from something. They're confused or guarded maybe. Maybe something is guard, like they're guarded against something. I feel like somebody wants a new beginning with you and they know something is not over, but they're kind of like confused. They don't know what to do here. Somebody could be resisting some type, type of change in their life. It could be just them huh, needing to let go of something that hasn't ended yet. What is this death card for Taurus? Yeah, page of cups in reverse. Somebody here needs to express their feelings or they're needing to say something, but they're holding back. They're waiting, somebody's waiting on something. This three of wands. I feel like somebody really wants to do something, but they're scared or they're having to wait on something. Somebody here could be a little bit younger than you, very immature, they don't know how to express themselves. They don't want something to end, but they also are not saying anything. They're finding it hard to let go of you, but they're not saying anything. What else for the death card? Queen of Cups and the Chariot. Yeah, it's like they want to come towards you and express their feelings. Taurus could be a Cancer. Doesn't have to be, but this person definitely wants to come towards you and express their feelings, express their emotions. They really, really love you here, I feel. They have a lot of emotions for you. They're just not saying anything or holding back communication for whatever the reason. All they can do is just stalk you and watch you. But with the chariot, it's like they're very determined to do something. And the chariot is a car, so they could definitely have car issues. Maybe they're waiting for their car to get fixed or so they can like pop up on you or something. Hmm. On it by Jasmine Sullivan and Ari Lennox is on. Baby, come on and prove why I should move. I want to spit on it. Ooh. <laughs> you want to spit on it? Okay. Somebody want to spit on it, Taurus. <laughs> Somebody want to give you some good stuff, I guess. Shit, I don't know. Okay. You want to spit on it? Let me see the lyrics of this song. <laughs> Put it in my face, little bow leg hood nigga with the nine inch. Oh, Taurus. Okay, somebody is fantasizing about you. What is this seven of cups? 
<laughs> grounded by Ari Lennox is on is on now. Somebody needs to get grounded, maybe. You'll grow once you are grounded. Okay, King of Swords. So this could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What else for the Seven of Cups? Somebody's trying to figure out how to come towards you with some type of truth and clarity. Somebody wants to be honest about something. Yeah, they're really contemplating and thinking with this Four of Swords. Like, this person is is thinking about you heavy. This person is thinking about you heavy, man. They they're in their head. They're really they're really really just. I feel like they're laying down, fantasizing. Like they go to sleep it and think about you. They they stay awoke and think about you. They do their shit during the day. I feel like you, they're stressed. <laughs> Somebody is really really stressed. <laughs> And they know that they have to be grounded before they come towards you because they can't come towards you in this energy. I feel like something here ended with you and this person already, but it's not over. They just need to get something together. They need to get their emotions and their feelings together. They could be emotionally immature, okay? And they just, I don't know. They're kind of like refusing to come out of the cycle of not expressing their feelings here. So we went from the Queen of Cups, we went from the Page of Cups in reverse to the Queen of Cups. So it's like, they could be maturing. Their emotions could be, you know, something here could be working out, okay? This Seven of Wands could be them having that courage and standing up and fighting for what it is that they want to do when it comes down to you. Chosen by Ty Dolla Sign is on. What is the Seven of Wands spirit for Taurus? What is the Seven of Wands for Taurus? Justice. Yeah, so you could be dealing with the Libra. This person, yeah, this person wants to be honest with you. This person really wants to balance things out with you. They could be fighting through a court case or something. They're having to wait for something. So all they can do is sit back and watch you here. Um, yeah, there could be something that's going on in their life that's stopping them from moving forward right now. But they definitely got their eye on you. They're going to make a move. They just have some shit going on. I feel like they think you have options too. They think you, they don't want things to end with you, but they think you have options. So they're stressed about it, <laughs> but they know if they don't come forward, you will have options and you will move on to those options as well. Let's see, what is inside scoop for Taurus? Eight of wands. Okay, so communication coming in. Maybe this person has gotten communication about something or received some type of communication. Um, or maybe something came to them. Or this is them wanting to communicate with you. But somebody is in their business, so they can't really do it. What else for the inside school? Or they think you have the inside scoop of what's going on in their life. <laughs> what's going on? Uh, what's this inside scoop for Taurus? Yeah, Six of Pentacles. What else for the inside scoop? Nine of Pentacles. Five of Wands. <laughs> this person trying to get in your business. They want to talk to you. They want to see what's going on with you because they want to balance things out. I feel like they just want to balance things out with you. They see you single. You're very abundant. I feel like they need help with something as well. They really need, I feel like they need help. They're going to communicate with you because I feel like they want your help. It could be whatever this car issue is, is what I'm sh feeling strong. It's not going to be for everybody. The story is not for everybody. Um, they need your support here. Or they want to come in and give you a gift and show their appreciation for you. Uh, but I don't know. Is, is it because they, they need help or is it because they want to get in your business? Like, I don't know. But I feel like this is you, Taurus. You're very single, abundant. Okay, you're working on your pentacles right now, your money. You could have a business here. And maybe this person knows that. But they know that if they come towards you, they're going to have to tell you the truth about something. I don't know what's going on with this person. But they're going to have to be very blunt and clear about how they feel and what's going on with them. They can't leave you in a confused state. Because I feel like you're already confused. Guilty by seven streeters on a Chris Brown. So... They they could feel guilty about something. And they know that they have to be straightforward with you if they want the help. What is the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, with the Five of Wands, I feel like it's something that's going to start a fight here. What is the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, 
the star it could be an aquarius and a ten of cups so i feel like they they look at you as like their emotional fulfillment like you make them happy they see success with you they see that they can have a family with you um maybe this communication is about the fact that they've been helping maybe they're some type of family situation that they're going through okay that they're healing from it could be that um they just want to heal this connection they have hope and faith about this connection with you they're being optimistic they're trying to stay optimistic about this here because they actually want to maybe come support you okay come give back to you they could be wanting to come in with a gift maybe if they come in with a gift they think that it can heal something yeah they could be coming in uh they could be coming in about communication about um them having to support a family or this is what they're doing right now something about a family or if they look at you like you could be a part of their family yeah judgment so somebody from your past like a renewal or they're making a decision here it could be like a, like i said a court situation this person could have went through a time of healing after you know becoming single maybe they were stuck in a family situation where they felt obligated to take care of someone and now they're single, working on their pentacles, hoping that they can heal this connection with you. What is this Eight of Wands for Taurus? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, something about money, Taurus. Yeah, you guys could be seeing eight, eight. What else for the Eight of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles? ace of cups yeah <laughs> this person they want a new beginning with you they love you here they love you and this person they want to start this new beginning with you but i feel like they are having car trouble that's number one and um they want to give back to you and they want to start a family with you they're hoping that that can be a thing with y'all um i feel like they don't want to look like they're in your business but they are they are in your business because they want to see if you maybe have someone else or if you started something with someone else I feel like this person, while they're at work, they're thinking about you here. Um, you could be receiving communication about your money too, Taurus, whatever you're working on. There could be something that you're really loving right now that you're working on and you're going to be receiving communication about this. But I feel like it's this person. They're coming to give you the inside scoop about something, maybe about a family situation and why they couldn't get to this connection because they were giving to another situation. But I feel like they're coming, they're working really hard here. They want to put the focus on you. They want to focus on you and this connection, this love that y'all have. Um, for some of you, they really want to start a family with you. <laughs> they want to start a family with you. Huh. Heartbreak anniversary by Giveon is on. Hmm, I don't know, Taurus. This person, I don't know. I feel like they need help with something, though. Something is moving quickly towards you. I just feel like they want to focus on you. They want to give back to you. So let's see, why is Carlos here? The high priestess fell out. You could be dealing with a um, Cancer or Pisces. Why is Carlos here for Taurus? The strength card could be dealing with the Leo. Why is Carlos here for Taurus? No car, car issues. Will of Fortune. So if you're having car issues, Taurus, I see things changing. Or if it's this person, things are changing so that way they can move forward. Because I feel like they want to express something to you. I feel like they can't hold back anymore. They're just, I don't know. What else for Carlos? for Taurus seven of swords okay somebody could have stole someone's car <laughs> somebody could have definitely stole someone's car or did something to someone's car um somebody could be getting karma for something as well for stealing this car or something like that Maybe this person lied to you about something. The two of swords and the lovers and the two of cups. Yeah, this person here in the moon, somebody here is hiding their feelings for you, Taurus. They're really trying to hold back or trying to be in denial or just really block this off right now until they get their car fixed because maybe somebody is doing something to their shit. 
which is why they can't move towards you. They're really trying to have the courage and the strength and build up the strength to come towards you in the meantime, I feel. What is this Seven of Swords? The Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords. This person could be going through karma for whatever whatever they did to you here. They could have ran off and not expressed their feelings. Okay, I just feel like this is you. You're unbothered. <laughs> You're unbothered. You're not. I don't know. But... um. Somebody here could have lied, cheated, or, or stole a car, really. And um, this could have been a situation where it could have been a third party, possibly. Somebody here um, broke someone's heart, or they just ruined your trust with them. This is why they have to come in and tell this truth here. It could be I'm telling the truth with the Ace of Swords. This is my truth card, so whatever I'm saying is the truth. Definitely could be a legal situation going on with the King of Swords, the Justice, and the Ace of Swords. Somebody here could be going to jail for, for being a thief. Streets by Doja Cat is on. Huh? I find it hard to find someone like you. Yeah, this person loves you. But the ace, the, the um, what did I pull? Where's all that shit that I pulled? The two of cups and all that? I don't know where that shit was. But yeah, this person... The Ace of Wands and the King of Cups, they're very passionate about you, Taurus. They're watching you like crazy. They, I feel like they're anxious to come towards you. But they want to clear something up about maybe a past situation, about a heartbreak, maybe about a family situation, about maybe why they ran off, okay? Because I feel like this person left you and just left you confused. And so now you're just unbothered. You're chilling. Um, but they, they want to clear something up for you once they're able to move forward. But somebody here got cheated on or lied to or something. What is this Wheel of Fortune for Taurus? They really want to dedicate themselves to this love that they have for you. The Nine of Swords. What is this Wheel of Fortune for Taurus? The Five of Cups. Yeah, this person is definitely in a lot of regret for, for something that they did. And I feel like now that they, they need your help. I feel like they need your help. Um, they're sad. They're very disappointed in themselves, I feel. They're, they're having anxiety about something yeah what is this moves in silence they can't sleep at night they really i feel like the universe is pushing this person to come talk to you something here about this connection is very faded or destined what is moves in silence by taurus i mean i said by taurus <laughs> in regards to taurus spirit what is moves, moves in silence knight of swords yeah this is them brushing in could be an air sign what is moves in silence? They're, they're making these moves in silence for whatever reason. The Queen of Swords. So we have the Queen to the King. You and your person have a very strong mental connection. Very intellectual. Very smart. Okay. So we do have a match here. This person is definitely your match. Um, what else for the moves in silence, Spirit? I feel like you have your sword up to this person. Because um, you're, you set boundaries with them. What else for this um, moves in silence for Taurus? Yeah, five of wands. There could be some drama or some some extra shit going on in their life. But I feel I feel like this person thinks that you're gonna cut them off if they're not honest with you. And I feel like you are with the Queen of Swords and the Five of Wands. It's like they are scared to say something because they think it's gonna be a fight with you. What is this five of wands? Yeah, something here with the sun is going to come to light. And it might piss you off, Taurus. But let's see. What is this five of wands? The hermit card. Yeah, I feel like somebody has done a lot of soul searching. Um, a lot of figuring out what they want. And maybe they're doing this shit at the last damn minute. What else with the five of swords and the hermit? Could be dealing with the Virgo. I mean, the five of wands and the hermit. Could be saying five, five, five. Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands? Who is this Queen of Wands for Taurus? The High Priestess. And then we have the Ten of Swords. 
so yeah so we have the queen of swords and then we have this queen of wands here so this and then we have the queen of cups so i just feel like it's the third party energy here that could be fighting with your person or this person knows intuitively that your person is probably getting their shit together to come towards you which is why they're moving in silence they're rushing in towards you but they're doing this in secret they don't want nobody to know and um this person here knows that your person is coming towards you or you can feel your person coming towards you somebody here i feel like your person finds you very attractive very sexually attractive here you're very fiery very feisty which is probably why he, they're not saying anything to you because they know that um you're probably going to say something to them which is why they're being very very quiet I feel like whoever this Queen of Wands energy is, it could be a, a Aries Leo Sag is in hermit mode trying to figure out something about your person or you to stop them because they think it's maybe some type of competition or a fight or a rivalry or something. They could be in regret for even dealing with this person if they were like a third party energy. They could have been giving money to this person and they probably cut them off. They set boundaries with them because they found out that you're their match here um but this is them rushing in towards you taurus with this knight of swords energy <clears throat> what is this knight of swords for taurus somebody here had to get their independence together what is this knight of swords yeah okay so the lovers in reverse so there's definitely something out of balance with you and this person could be a gemini that you're dealing with this person is rushing in, I feel like, to balance things out. But I feel like there has been a breakup of some sort. And this person is a little bit pissed at your person. And if your person was, like, in a third party or was dealing with the karmic energy, this person is pissed. What is this? Lovers in reverse with the Knight of Swords. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, your person here... The passion here lies with you. There's something here that could have just been sex, sexual with someone. Someone here. I feel like you cut this person off too because they thought it was just going to be a one night stand or sex and it turned into something else. And now it's a big ass imbalance with you and them because they ran off and did some other shit with someone else. Somebody here could have had a given, uh, could have been given to another situation because they got someone pregnant or someone got pregnant or something like that. Or they got kids with somebody that they have to give to, maybe child support. There's some type of family situation going on that's probably being worked out in court. Okay. Somebody here lied or cheated or did something to your person or whatever, however the story's going. And now they're, they're having all these problems, but that's because karma is here. Whatever they've done to you is getting done back to them. But I feel like there's a breakup here. Maybe someone cheated or caused imbalance in a relationship because of sex. But I feel like this person wants a passionate new beginning with you. And think, yeah, with the Three of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, things have been moving really, really slow. Okay? But I feel like they're coming in for a reconciliation. Still your best by giving on his own. So, yeah, I just feel like you're still this person's best. Like, you're always going to be this person's best. <laughs> and they probably chose someone over you that is... I don't know how that's mess. And now they're, they're giving this person problems. Okay. What is the potential outcome in the next action spirit? Potential outcome, next actions, please, for Taurus. So the Queen of Pentacles, this is you sitting on your throne looking pretty. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles under that. What is the potential actions in the next outcome? I mean, potential actions in the outcome spirit. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. So whatever this is towards for your money, your money is looking good. It's growing. I feel like somebody's admiring you. This person admires you. You're very business oriented. You could own a business. But whatever whatever this is, is going to be very stable for you. Next action, spirit, and the outcome. One more. The sun. Yeah. So I feel like um, something here could be coming to light about some money, about finances, maybe. Um, but I see happiness, success with this situation. Okay. You're going to become enlightened about something. Could be dealing with the Leo. This person could be coming in to give you a gift, or there's some communication coming in about a solid new beginning with the page. Pregnancy could be a 
thing here for some of you guys pregnancy could definitely be um a thing with the sun and the page it's like those are kids here <laughs> excuse me yeah but i feel like you're gonna be very very grounded taurus you're in your energy you're very strong you're very stable your business looks like it's gonna flourish so let's get some more information about this i'm curious <laughs> What the hell is going on? There's some drama going on somewhere. We're about to find out. I shuffled these off camera, so. Something here, yeah, romantic is, romance is in the air in August. Something here could have happened in August. Could have met this person in August. So I shuffled these. I'm not going to shuffle them. I'm only going to shuffle one time. So let's see. Let's get some more information about this. Let's pull from this one. For Taurus spirit. What is going on with Taurus in regards to the situation? Or what other messages do you have for Taurus? Bottom of the deck, we have goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Yeah, your your money. And you guys could do like a spiritual practice or run um, a tarot business or whatever. But this shit looks good though, Taurus. So what else for Taurus? Tree, affairs with your family. Okay. So you could be building on a family. I mean, I do see this here. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. Somebody here wants to work on a family with you, uh, work on a family situation or start a family with you. I feel like this might be the key or something, but I don't know. This person has a lot of shit going on. Target, a goal-oriented person. Okay, so I feel like somebody here got their eyes on you. You're the target. Okay. Um, a goal-oriented person could be coming towards you. This is you. This is why your your money is building because you're very goal-oriented. Okay, moon changes in your life. Okay. Love. So, yeah, love is coming in. Somebody here got their eyes on you. They, they're they keeping it a secret, but this is going to change your life in some type of way. Could be building on your family tree, starting a new generation. <laughs> Whale, great worry over nothing. Okay, so you're worrying over nothing, Taurus. Dog, protection from a powerful friend. Okay, so you guys could have a pet or you're thinking about getting a pet. Um, you're being protected here. What else for Taurus? Or just uh, the dog talks about loyalty. So someone here could be coming in to be very loyal to you. Show you some love and dedication. And we have June. Okay, something here could have happened in June or it's going to happen significant, significantly in June. Then we have hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Yeah, I told you somebody somebody needs your help, Taurus. <laughs> For Taurus spirit. Let's get some more. Hmm. Let's see. For Taurus. So we have shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Huh. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So maybe you guys need to save your finances, Taurus. You guys need to save. Really hold on to your money. Or there could be a shark like around you. Maybe somebody trying to take something from you. Lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Huh. Somebody here could be pissing your person off. I don't even feel like this is your energy. I don't, Taurus. Dark man. Dealings or relationships with a dark man with dark complexion or dark hair. Somebody here can have dark hair, have a dark complexion. What else for Taurus? Frying pan. Trouble. Accusations. It fell over the justice card. So there could definitely be something going on in court. I'm hearing like the six of swords in reverse. So it could be an air sign that got themselves into some trouble or something. What else? Dog barking, advice from a friend. So a lot about dogs and friends and shit. Somebody here could be a straight up dog, but I feel like this is talking about loyalty, commitment. What else for Taurus? Pineapple reconciliation. Okay, yes, yeah, so you are reconciling with someone, someone that loves you. So I just feel like this is their energy. I do. I feel like it's cross watcher energy or something. Somebody's pissing this person off. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Hmm. What else for Taurus? Carry, opportunity or windfall. 
bird perched waiting for news package letter yeah someone is waiting for something i feel like from court or something then we have arrow you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life boat money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall okay somebody could be getting a windfall of money through some type of court situation or inheritance and one more spirit for taurus rabbit too much concern with sexual matters yeah fell over frying pan so somebody could have went back to somebody and it was just off of lust and whatever the fuck. Then we have bags, something important such as a new job or raise. Yeah, that's what I feel like this is coming towards you, Taurus. Your money is going to look really, really good. Something is going to make you happy. So let's see. Let's get something from here and then we're going to close it out. Hmm. This reading was a little all over the place, Taurus. <laughs> a little bit all over the place. For Taurus spirit. Messages for Taurus. Nasty by Ariana Grande is on. I like that song. So yeah, somebody. So I feel like somebody is really, really attracted to you, but they do want a family with you too, though. They want to start a family with you. <laughs> this person just daydreams about having sex with you a lot. You guys could have been intimate already, especially if it's a reconciliation. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have the art of not giving a fuck. Be true to yourself. Fuck what other people think. Learn to only give a fuck about what's truly important to you. Choose your fucks wisely. Stop pleasing people. Stop people pleasing. So someone here is coming out of that phase of pleasing people. Then we have bad habits. Let go of toxic behaviors, addictions, obsessive thoughts, paranoia, self-sabotage, constant complaining entitlement people pleasing you see that again so somebody here was just doing something to please someone else and it wasn't making them happy this is probably what broke you apart blame game always expecting the worst judgmental selfishness compulsive liar uh, so somebody here could not be giving a fuck no more about a compulsive liar that they let into their lives i feel like this is queen of wands energy this i feel like this person feels like they can fix this through sex Maybe this person doesn't know how to communicate, which is why this Knight of Swords is here. They don't know how to communicate, so they feel like maybe sex can balance this thing back out. But I feel like you're going to have your sword up. Like, no, you need to come in and talk about what the fuck happened. Why do we even need to have a reconciliation in the first damn place? Okay. Then it says, play your cards right. Strategic moves. Take your time. Don't be in such a rush. Play smart. Can't control the hand you're dealt. Work with what you got. You have all the knowledge and insight and knowing which moves to make in a situation. Yeah. I feel like somebody is being strategic. That's what this move in silence is. Okay. Then we have karma. Reap what you sow. You get what you give. How people treat you is their karma. How you react is yours. Don't block your blessings trying to do people how they did you. Two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have clear the air. Yeah. Somebody here is trying to confront an issue. This person could have been giving you silent treatment. They wanted to come in and be clear about communication and remove any confusion and tension. Yeah, and this is rejection for your protection. So if this person rejected you, it was for your protection, Taurus, because they weren't ready anyway. They weren't ready. They had too much drama to deal with. But expect this person to come in. Okay, I don't know. I see your money looking good, though, Taurus. So this was your reading. I hope it wasn't too confusing for you, shit. But, um... Yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Taurus.